Today I'm going to be going over how to use the occlusion culling feature in the Blender game engine. What occlusion culling allows you to do is if there's an object which is behind an object, it will be still sending that to the GPU, which we don't want because that's just extra processing stuff and it's not needed. Now, one thing to note about this is that you should only use this for big objects. When I say big objects, I mean something like a skyscraper or a large, large object. You don't want to use this for a wall or even a house wall because it probably be better to send those objects to the graphics card. So the way we're going to do this is Blend has a built-in feature for you to do this easily. So let's pop over and see how to use this feature. All right, so I'm here in my new scene and as you can see, we have no occlusion culling. So we just see the objects behind there and the occlusion culling is not working. So we don't want to see these objects in wireframe when they're hidden behind this object because we don't want them sent to the GPU or anything like that. So the way we can do this is we can duplicate our object or add an object, which a basic version, if you don't have a basic mesh of it is what you want, and then you want to set it to a cluder. Um, now you'd be tempted to use this invisible option, but actually that doesn't do anything. And the reason we duplicated this is because we need it as a secondary mesh because it doesn't act, it doesn't have physics. So you're going to have to have your normal physics mess, which is going to be the one that's going to be rendered as well. So now, what you'll see is it should hide the objects behind it. And I only show up when it's going to be seen. So as you can see, it shows up just before it comes around the corner. Now, there are a few other things that can help to if you want things not quite working, like if... If you're getting flickering issues or something like that with the objects kind of showing up and they're not showing up that because that could be because your object is too small or uh, the objects are too close or something like that so you can easily fix that just by scaling up your clue to object or something like that now you see down here we have our resolution as well so this is going to basically change uh, as i believe it to be the amount of rays which is sent out to kind of tell what objects are behind a wall and what objects aren't behind a wall. So you can change that up if you're having issues or something. But at the 128 is pretty good. So this is enabled by default. So you just need to enable that clue option and you'll have an object including them. Now you do want to use this for big objects. So remember something like a skyscraper is probably the best or a large building if you have like cars and stuff behind it or lampposts, all that kind of stuff. Just to save on resources, if you if it's just a small wall, then it's probably not going to save on resources. So, if you want to see more tutorials like this, I have them on my YouTube channel, so you can subscribe if you are watching on YouTube. Um, so have a great week and keep blendering.